hey happy november this is about time when we start looking at the real estate market numbers so let's deep dive and see what has changed so far in the past month we've had in 18 percent less new listings that came out on the, on the market comparing to the last year however overall we've had an increase in all houses that were available for sale in 47 percent comparing to the last year this is a very important statistical data that shows that we do not have many new listings that coming out on the market but we still have a lot of or much more houses that are available for sale actually we are as i've mentioned in my previous videos we're accumulating all these houses and we start getting them more but take a look at the other numbers we've had a decrease in 49 percent of all houses that went under the contract and decrease in 38% of all houses that were sold last month comparing to the same month last year. The number of days that a listing in average stays on the market increased in 55% to 13 days. It means that if your house that you are thinking to sell is upgraded and moving ready and very pretty it probably will be sold within two weeks if your house is not there you definitely need a consultation and see what approach you can take in order to sell your house for the current market's top price based on the inventory we're still in the seller's market we have inventory for only 1.8 months which actually points out that we're still selling and we're still buying we do have a decrease in overall numbers uh, of how number of houses that were sold, but number uh, that we have for the inventory shows that we are not even close to get to the balanced market, which is between six to seven months, if you remember from the other videos. Median sales price increased in 7% comparing to the last month, and currently we stand at 574,225. So what does it mean? If you are thinking to buy a house, this is a great time clearly because you do have more of the houses to choose from you don't have to rush and send an offer immediately in most of the times because we still have happen to have some bidding wars from time to time and you definitely can enjoy the process yes the interest rate has significantly increased but in their last meeting federal reserve they actually said that they probably will keep increasing the interest rate in uh, the new year as well so the interest rate is expected to go up. So what does it mean for you as a buyer? This is a great time to buy. Depends on the location, the market is hyper, hyper local. There are some areas that definitely have already faced a correction. Some areas, they are still on the high demand and probably they will keep being on the high demand in the next year as well. The interest rate keeps going, keep, uh, keep going up and probably it will increase in the next year as well. At least Federal Reserve, Reserve said that at this moment, they don't see where they're going to stop increasing the interest rate. If you're a seller, please tune to my next video because I will talk about what does it mean to you to sell the house in this current market and if you need to wait. I hope you like this one and I see you next time. Bye!